As we've seen when looking at effects, it can be quite mind-blowing the amount of creative possibilities that are available to you in After Effects. I really like that. I like the fact that I've got a million possibilities. Some people find that a little bit intimidating, though. So I'm going to show you a tool which will help you explore the creative possibilities of the effects in After Effects. If you want to follow along, open up the Effects project and you can find that in the Effects folder. And in there, open up O3 Brainstorming. Now, you might think, what the hell has brainstorming got to do with effects? Well, brainstorming normally comes before you start a project. You'll brainstorm ideas, come up with an idea, and then execute it. That's the way designers tend to work. But quite often you're on a project and you're working with effects and you need to come up with a new idea while you're working on the project. And the brainstorm tool is perfect for that. So what I want you to do is select the background layer and open it up and you'll see all the effects in there. If you double click Fractal Noise, it will open them up in the effect control panel. Now I have Fractal Noise applied. What I'm going to do is just turn off the other effects by clicking on the little FX button to switch them off so we only have one effect selected. And then I'm going to go and click on this button, the Brainstorm button, and you'll see what it does. It gives me nine versions of my composition and it gives me the choice of different randomness values for that effect. So it randomizes everything in the effect if I select the whole effect and gives it a random value of 25. I can play the footage so that I can see how it looks on footage playing back over time. Now if I have a nice big monitor, I can also extend the size of this to see it on a bigger screen. Or if I see one that I really like, I can select it and say, show me how it looks full screen. And that will just give me a quick idea of how it looks full screen. And then I can jump back. Now I can increase the randomness. So let's put the randomness up to 100. And then let's click on the brainstorm button again. And now it randomizes it even more. And you'll notice that it's randomizing color as well. And here we have some really bizarre effects. I mean, this looks nothing like what we started with. And I could say, oh, well, actually, this isn't really what I want for this project, but I might want to save it for another project. So I also have a button here which allows me to say, save that as a new composition. And when we come out of the brainstorm tool, you'll notice that that will be included in my composition panel where I can save it as an animation preset or even as a comp. Let's go back to our full view and let's decide which one is closest to what we want. Well, this one really is. So I'm going to say include that in next brainstorm. And now when I brainstorm again, it's going to randomize based around that. And we start to get more vertical, linear kind of brainstorms. OK, if I see one that I really want to apply to my composition, I just click on apply to composition. And that leaves the brainstorm tool where I can just preview it on my current comp. And you'll see that we have a completely different look. Now, this isn't really what I want, but just before we change it, what I want to do is go back to the project panel and you'll notice that I now have a brainstorming to comp. And this is the comp that was created when I said create a new comp from selection. So I have now that one to explore with different possibilities. So for now, let's go back to brainstorming and I'm just going to undo the brainstorm tool so we're back where we were. Instead of brainstorming everything, I could say, well, what happens if I just brainstorm the complexity? Click on the brainstorm tool and we can select individual properties. Now I have a spread value for complexity. I'm going to put that up to 100 and just click on brainstorm. And you'll notice now I'm getting more or less complexity depending on how much I randomize it. I like this one, so I'm going to say include that in the next brainstorm. The others I'm not too fussed about, so I'll brainstorm again. Now you'll see I'm getting less variation. Complexity doesn't really give me enough variation. So I'm going to say apply to comp for this one. So let's select that one, say apply to comp. Then I'm going to go in and select some different options. Now I'm a bit bored of adjusting fractal noise. So I'm going to try brainstorming colorama. So I'll click on brainstorm. And now I'm starting to get much more variety in terms of colour. I love this one. So I'm going to say include that in the next brainstorm. But I also like some of the more monochrome ones, so I'm going to include that. And now we'll get some kind of varieties based around those selections. If we increase the randomness, 
up to 100, include that one again, brainstorm, we start to get more brightly coloured brainstorms. So again, I'm going to choose this one, apply it to my comp, and then I'm going to start having a look at some of the other options. So let's tile it. Let's go into Kalida. And with Kalida, I'm going to brainstorm that. OK, and we start to get all these amazing patterns by brainstorming the Kalida effect. Now, I like that one. So I'm going to say include that. I like this one. We'll include that. Which other ones do I like? I quite like this one. And actually, I like this one. So we'll keep those. We'll increase the randomness up to 100 and we'll brainstorm again. We start to get amazing effects now. So here's another one that I like. So let's keep that one. Let's keep that one. And it starts to become quite difficult to make a decision because they're all really nice. So we'll brainstorm again. So you get the idea. And if we apply these to our comps, so let's save a couple of these as new comps. I'll save that one. I'll save that one. And I'm going to apply this to my composition. So now I have a really nice background for my comp. Let's add a couple of lens effects and a four color gradient to that. I could maybe decide, OK, I don't want it quite as bright. So let's go back into Colorama. So let's go into the output cycle and let's randomize that. Now you'll notice to use Brainstorm, you must select some numeric properties or keyframes or groups containing them. An output cycle doesn't actually contain anything that you can randomize. And you will come across properties like that that don't have a numeric value and you can't randomize. If that happens, just select the whole effect or another property and click on randomize. And now we should be able to randomize the color. Now I think this is the one that I'm going to go for actually. So I'm going to just click OK and accept that. And now we have our final result after a little bit of brainstorming. Plus, I have another couple of ideas here that I can use in other projects. And of course, I can save these as animation presets. So I could come in here, select all these effects. OK, go to Save Animation Preset. And we'll go into my Animation Presets folder in the Applications folder. So in my After Effects 6 folder in Presets, Angie's Presets, let's call it Backgrounds. And we'll call it Funky Colored Background. OK, and very quickly using Brainstorm, you can create some really amazing, fantastic presets.